everybody. Stage 17 takes the peloton on a 200 km spin from the Pont du Gard to the city of Gap, the gateway to the Alps. A final opportunity for the Barouder and the punches before heading to high altitude, and so today's breakaway was pretty much guaranteed to go all the way. Well, the first move turned out to be the right move. Thomas de Ghent putting the hammer down from the gun as 33 riders move clear. Two non-GC teams missing the split, Total Direct Energy and Arkea Samsic, but their combined efforts to reel the break back in proved fruitless. Plenty of potential stage winners up at the front, apart from De Ghent. Greg van Avermaet, Matteo Trentin, Edvel Boasenhagen, Omar Fraile, Simon Clark and Jasper Stuyven. Rui Costa also in there. The Portuguese rider took a stage winning gap back on the 2013 Tour a couple of months before being crowned world champion. Andrei Pascalon of Wanty Gobert snaffling maximum points at the intermediate sprint ahead of De Ghent and Stuyven. The gap to the peloton stretching out to over 10 minutes with 100 kilometers to go, a pretty snappy average speed of over 46 kilometers an hour. Well, with 30k to go, the break decided there were too many cooks in the kitchen and 11 men attacked. Alexi Gujar and Ben King joined by Gorka Izagire, Pierre-Luc Perichon, Tom Skewens, Daniel Oss, Vegard Steak langen Kasper Asgreen, Tom Scully, Van Avermaet and Trentin. They soon had 30 seconds on the rest of their breakaway companions. De Koenig quick step setting a nice easy pace in the peloton with the gap well over 15 minutes by this point because the racing was up at the front. Trentin going solo on the final climb and Perichon was the only man able to give chase. The European champion quickly pulling 25 seconds clear of the Frenchman. And he still had around 30 seconds in hand by the time he reached the summit. Kasper Askren catching up to Perichon, but the Dane wouldn't get anywhere near Trentin. The Italian cruising to his third stage victory on the Tour de France. The magnificent Matteo Trentin makes it four for Mitchelton Scott. Well, Trentin, 37 seconds clear of Asgrim with Van Avermaet sprinting to third. The peloton rolling in 20 minutes later, led by the Koenig Quickstep and the yellow jersey. It was really an emotional finish because actually I only win two races in my whole career alone. And doing here in the Tour de France with this finish line, with this with this group in front, it was a super, super strong group. It's uh, just amazing right away on a climb. That is something that probably nobody will put an euro on the start of the stage, but uh, it's amazing. So a third stage win for Matteo Trentin on the Tour de France, five years after his last triumph in 2014. The Italian simply too strong and too smart for his breakaway rivals. It's a fourth win for Mitchelton Scott, and that puts them level with Jumbo Visma on this tour. 15 of the 22 teams in the peloton still haven't tasted stage success this year. No changes in the top 10 today as we head into the Alps. Alaphilippe still leads Geraint Thomas by 1 minute and 35 seconds. Xandra Maurice making the most of being in the breakaway to move up from 19th to 13th. As long as Peter Sagan can make it to Paris, he will get that record 7th green jersey. The former world champion, 85 points clear of Elia Viviani. But the battle for polka dots starts tomorrow. Tim Vellens with a 14-point lead over Thibaut Pino before hitting the big climbs. Egan Bernal almost sure to make it through to Paris as the best young rider in white. And as for Julian Alaphilippe, it will be a 13th day in yellow tomorrow, but will that bring him luck in the Alps?